tonight with Darlene Turner. She is our featured author for the month of April. She is one of our very own Suspense Squad members. We're very excited for her. This is her debut novel. Everybody give her a whoop whoop. <laughs> and we are going to um, do sort of a round. Right, yeah, she's got, there's her book, Border Breach. Thank you for reminding me to say that. Border <laughs> Breach. And it was released when, Darlene? April the 1st. April 1st. And so Darlene is going to um, give us a little preview, a little summary. She's going to read that back copy uh, on the back of the book just to let anybody who sees this video know what that book's about. So go ahead, Darlene, read that for us. When drugs are smuggled across the border, it's their duty to stop the culprits at any cost. Forming a joint task force, Canada Border Officer Kaylin Poye and Police Constable Hudson Steves have one objective take down a drug smuggling ring trying to sell a new lethal product. But when the smugglers come after Kaylin and Hudson, this mission becomes more than just a job. Can they live long enough to solve the case? A lot of us know each other through writers' conferences, Blue Ridge, through um, ACSW, and we've just met, and that's why it's so great to be an author and a writer, because we get to meet such wonderful people and get to become friends and support each other, and so that's what we want to do for Darlene tonight. Um, so we're going to start, Darlene, if you'll kind of say something again, so you'll pop up on the screen for us. Okay, I'm ready for your sure. questions. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there you come. All right, so we're going to be asking some <laughs> questions, and Virginia Vaughn is going to go first. And Virginia, I'll throw it over to you. Okay. Hey, Darlene. Congratulations on your book. You. Um, I want to take you all, all the way back to when you first started writing, when you first put that pen to your pen to paper and wrote those first words and put yourself out there. Who was the very first person that you showed your writing to and how did that affect you going forward? That's a very good question. Okay, so I'm going to take you back to um, when I was 12. Um, I loved Nancy Drew. And I started my own Mindy Dobson series. So I, I started writing it, but I did. I don't believe I actually showed it to anybody. So years later, um, I took a creative writing class. And we had to do a short story. So, um, however, I could not finished the short story. So that short story turned into my very first novel. And I showed it to my mom, of course. And of course, she loved it. And years later, I've had uh, like Diane Mills be my mentor. So she's been a huge, huge help in my writing journey. So she she's always been there for me. And, and I've really been appreciative of that. So but yeah, but yeah, it was my mom. <laughs> okay, love it. Um, let's go to Dana. Dana, I think you have a question for Darlene. Yes. Hey, Darlene, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Dana. Um, my question is, when you were writing this book, because you know sometimes we base what we write on things that we know sometimes, can you tell me one quirky characteristic that you just love, either about yourself or about your characters? Oh, well, I would have to say something about myself. I own 25 plaid shirts. You own what? I own 25 plaid shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Why I own 25, I don't know. I don't know if you would call that quirky. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> I, I can't say I really gave my characters in this particular book any quirks per se, but, but yeah, no, I, I'm weird. I know. I don't know why I, I have 25. <laughs> Did your characters wear plaid shirts in their book? They not this, them. not in this book, but you never know when they will show up. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it a Canadian thing? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Let's ask Miss Sammy. Sammy, come on board. Hey, Let's darling. Hi, Sammy. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. Okay. So, for those of us unpublished, I want to know what you did when you got the call. <laughs> That's a very good question. 
OK, so um, it was funny when I got home, the phone rang and I didn't recognize the phone number. So I thought, oh, it's a telemarketer. I'm not going to answer. And then all of a sudden I heard Tamela's voice. So I went and grabbed the phone. <laughs> oh, I'm here. <laughs> So when she told me about uh, Love Inspired, Inspired wanted to give me a contract, I was inwardly screaming, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and then the funny part, though, of this was my husband's reaction. So he came home. I told him the news. He danced up and down the hallway. <laughs> it was hilarious. I I it. video of it. It was too fun. Aww. But yeah, no, I, I was so excited. So excited. It's, it's a dream come true. <laughs> so thank nice. you. Yeah, I think you need to send me that video so we can like <laughs> have a little snippet of him dancing up and up all day. Um, <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> all right, funny. Loretta, are you on the line still? Yes, I'm here. All right, pop in and ask your question, Loretta. Okay, Darlene, I am so excited for you. Congratulations. Thanks, Loretta. And, thank and um writers are always interested in the lives of successful authors so share something fun people don't know about you okay okay uh, something fun well i love to toll paint i don't know if you know what that is but it's painting on wood surfaces actually i have something here that is in my office it's on resin it's not wood but this is something i've painted that matches my sunflower room can you see it Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, I like it. But, but I, I, another funny thing about is my dream, my dream is to live in a log cabin uh, on the lake at the foot of a mountain. That's always been, oh, and another quirky thing about me is that I have a pen fetish. <laughs> I'm, a pen I'm, I'm a pen thief. Like I, I, I will go to work and I come home and I'm like, where did all these things come from? I didn't even know. And I don't even know I'm doing it. You know, you just steal them and then you know. find them everywhere. Pens. What is yeah. about pens? Thank you. All right. So Ms. Hope, what's your question for Darlene? Okay, Darlene, congratulations. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Um, my question, I'm always interested when I talk to writers, I'm always interested in, because everybody has their own process. So I'd like to know, like, what is your writing process? Are you a plotter? Are you a pantser? Are you somewhere in between? Like, how do you, how do you process writing? Okay. I'm more of a pantser than a plotter. Uh, I'm definitely someone in between because I do have to have an, a, an overall idea of what I'm writing. So what I do first is I get that overall idea I uh, pick my characters. I actually have a character sketch that I go through and kind of interview them. Um, I take them through all of these different uh, attributes about them, their background, and kind of shapes them into to the character that I want. Now, having said that, sometimes it changes as I go through the process. Um, but I, one other thing, my favorite, actually, my favorite part of writing is doing my character sketches. I like to go on social media, find who I visualize my character and I have Scrivener. So I'm able to put my characters on behind when I'm typing so I can see them. So I love doing that. So, and then after that, once I, once I figure out all of the background and I also do the villains as well, then I start writing chapter one. And then the kind of the story just kind of goes from there. Sometimes I go down little rabbit holes and along the way, but um, but yeah, that's basically my process. That's so cool. I meant to ask you this earlier. Um, tell us you were talking about Tamala, that Tamala made the phone call. So tell us who Tamala is, because a lot of us know who Tamala is, but somebody that's watched this might not know who Tamala is. So tell us who Tamala is. Okay, Tamala Hancock Murray uh, from the Steve Lobby Agency is is my agent. And she is amazing. I know there's a few of us on this call that are Tamalites. Yay! Yay! Um, <laughs> she, yeah, and I know we can all agree that she is just wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And then that is say, tell us what Scrivener is, because some of some people that you know might not know what Scrivener is. Okay. So, so Scri is. Scrivener is is a program for uh, for writers that you can put all of your files into one file so you can have like all your scenes. You can have put your research in there. You can put pictures in there. And so it's all in one spot. So it's awesome. Right. I love it. 
Very nice. All right, Miss Patty, you're up. Can you say something so you'll pop on the screen for me and ask oh, me to I'm so, so excited for you. Thank you, Patty. Um, it's just, I just finished your book. It's so good. Thank um, you. My question is, because I just also finished a sweet romantic novella that um, I've been working on, and um, the female character is a widow, and I uh, was a widow for several years, and mm -hmm. I thought that I would identify with her more, but as I finished writing, I kept having to pull myself out of the male character, and so I found out that I identified with him more. Which Ooh, one in Border Breach... Which one of your characters do you identify with most, Kaylin or Hudson? I have to say actually both, and for specific reasons. For Kaylin, it was her whole her her curve of learning to forgive. For Hudson, it was the betrayal that he went through with his ex fiance. Um, I was also betrayed by someone that I loved years ago. And I went through all the emotions that my characters went through, but in the end, I chose to forgive, and that brought me joy again. So, so yeah. So I, I, I couldn't pick one or the other. I had to because I, I do. It. <laughs> yeah, they're my babies, you know. I yeah, think they children. are. I think writers do that. I think we take our emotions and we put them into our characters of things Absolutely. that we've experienced. I think Absolutely. That's very common. Yeah. 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 All right, my, I'm up. I'm next, so I'm going to ask you a question. Um, in your book, Border Breach, Kaylin has a cat. So what kind of pets do you have, and which one is your favorite, and why? Okay. I add a I, little more to my question. <laughs> I love cats. Cats are my fave. However, my hobby is allergic to cats. So, so we're... After we, st I had two cats at one point, and then we started dating. And then I, when it started getting serious, I had to choose cats, oh. Jeff. So you all know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally, and this is true, I literally put my cats in a carrier and flew them home to my mom to have. Oh. And um, their names, their names are Sassmi, who's in the book, and Meander. So you'll probably see those names pop up from time to time. So when you <laughs> yeah. visit your mom, you get to see them? Uh, no, no, they're gone. Oh. No, sorry. they're gone. So. But no, Do that's okay. Do you have okay. any I other still... pets? Dogs, birds, no. snakes? Okay. No. <laughs> no pets, no pets. No, because Jeff's allergic. So Jeff, Jeff is the pet, yeah. Jeff is the pet. <laughs> <laughs> he's not only my kid, but he's my pet too. 